Communication as such is a very important uh, step in enhancing the uh, intergenerational synergy. Uh, they give example of a company of W L Gores, they use this approach as a classic example. All new employees are assigned a sponsor who helps them to navigate the culture. This sponsor also help them to reach out and form other mentoring relationship. It is based on the work interest and chemistry both. Uh, more recently, there is another company, Sodexo, many of us must have heard its name, they are famous for the food coupons. They began to test the mentoring circles of four people to help onboard new employee. So, at the time of onboarding itself, they uh, have the four, they identify the four mentors for this, uh, for this uh, new employee. Three ex, so, out of these four, three happen to be experienced one and one has happens to be the newcomer one. So, that is a very interesting policy developed by Sodexo to enhance the communication across generation. Third way of enhancing synergy across generation authors have identified in the McKinsey study is culture of mentorship. So, they give example of Barclay. Barclay started up a young leaders resource group called Emerge. Its primary goal is to help companies most recent hires accelerate their career through opportunities to develop skills. So, they help the employee through the informal group for employee to grow up in the organization and identify what are the capabilities this person has to build to grow up career wise in the organization. Organizations need to be creative about the professional growth, they need to create multiple opportunities to enhance the professional growth and that is the another point identified in this study. Young workers tell us that they are energized by the rotational program they want to move from one job to another, get as much exposure as possible about the functioning of organization. So, program at uh, Synchrony, another Synchrony Financial, another organization and there are some other organizations also being mentioned in this article. They have expanded the traditional model to include increased mentoring and they enhance the exposure to the senior leaders, cross functional work, community service all these contribute to the professional growth of employee and these initiatives are ex, uh, very much valued by the millennial uh, workforce. Flexibility as we discussed millennials love flexibility, they love their autonomy, it is very important for them. One example they give is of the Netflix they have instituted an unlimited parental leave policy allowing employees to spend more time with their newborns and to choose return dates balancing their responsibilities at home. So, for many organizations now are giving paid parental leave uh, and that is a very important initiative to keep the millennials uh, engaged at workplace. Middle managers need to be developed as leaders. In many cases, middle managers belong to the generation before millennials. In order to work with the millennials and get best output from them at workplace, they need specific training. Denon and Citigroup, Denon and Citigroup are the two examples. Danone has created an innovative internal training program that brings together leaders of different generations, so that each can better understand how other works and that helps them to surpass, get out of the stereotyping of the people about generations. Second example is of the city group. In city group, 
every manager has to undergo coach training program before working with an intern or participate in the rotation program or to work with any other participant of the uh, rotation program. Uh, this is considered as recognition for the mentors as well, because this is the recognition of their mentoring capabilities. So, these are some examples where organizations shape the middle level managers into leaders. Now, we will look at example of an Indian company TCS. This example is very useful for our understanding about uh, the multi generation engagement at workplace is because uh, the millennials and gen y they constitute 70 percent of their work, workforce. So, in the worldwide that, that percentage might be 34, but it is more than double in the uh, TCS BPO. So, gen y has already dominating the TCS BPO workforce that meant the expectation in the workplace has already seen significant change. They have identified certain principles those principles are the basis of identifying the initiatives about intergenerational dialogue and engagement. What are those principles? Those principles are empowering associates at all levels that is related to empowerment as well as transparency. Create a problem solving culture, help people to solve their problems, help the system to solve their problems, encouraging decision making at lowest possible level making the associates feel valued and build their trust in the organization and provide a platform for employees to express their opinion and concern. These are the five principle are the foundation for TCS to enhance their intergenerational dialogue and engagement. So, based on these principles uh, many interesting initiatives are taken up by TCS HR. These initiatives are given different names like Propel, Catalyst Program, etcetera. Propel is the forum for managing change and taking ownership. So, that is about the new initiatives, new change process in the organization and people can talk and have conversation, get information about these changes at this platform. There is a Catalyst Program. The Catalyst Program is where uh, a nominated person from operations team goes through a structured program to become go to resource among the operations team for people and policy related issues. So, this person is trained as catalyst and this person other than HR becomes the go to person for other team members. They people they are the resources which champion the HR cause from operation side. There is also a high pot program. This program is to augment the skills of high potential employees. This is this works as development as well as recognition program. There is a program with the acronym DAWN that enhances the diversity and inclusivity of all kinds. So, the DAWN under the DAWN program diversity initiatives are taken up for the different forms of diversity. Associate Connect program that is a breakfast meeting one on one connect and town halls with the senior most leaders of the organization. Coach Protege program, Coach Protege program is where senior leaders mentor and develop the high performers and solid citizens of the organization. Just Ask program, this is a social networking platform to act as an informal setting at work in order to network and to ask formal and informal questions. This is a interactive platform with the colleagues on matters of common interest and that can be about finding a good paying guest in the nearby area to uh, knowing about the certification program available in particular technology. So, we can see that multiple generations are working and they will continue to work at workplace. This can be looked at as a potential, this can be, uh, this can provide the strength to the organization, provided 
synergy is created and more robust communication is established across the generations. There are certain principles each organization need to identify to enhance the synergy across the generation and based on these principles, the principles related to empowerment, respect, acknowledgement, communication going beyond stereotyping, based on these principles each organization has to identify their own initiatives. Right initiatives build on appropriate principles with the genuine concern to enhance the intergenerational communication will result into synergizing the talents across generation as well as it will enhance the employee engagement.